Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another video. Tonight I want to do a video on Elder Scrolls and exposing some of the features that don't work, which is pretty much everything in 2022, going into 2023 on the most powerful console in the world. So, you probably come across most of these uh, experiences yourself if you played vast parts of the game, whether it's PvE or PvP. Um, this one, I'm just digging up some treasures. Played a video for you. Now, when I was doing this, I was thinking, oh, I'm not going to find any extra loot. So I just dig up the prop one, make sure I get that, because it were a lead uh, for a mythic. Yeah, I thought, yeah, I just dig here and here. Yeah, I found extra loot! But as you can see, it says no bonus loot found. Typical of Elder Scrolls, I think. Right, so here we have another video of me doing um, a veteran trial. Now this is one of those times where you don't want the game to bug out. So I'm just going around marking all my targets on my instantly good build. <coughs> See, every beam of light I put on these targets deals damage to them, and as I'm using Plague Break, all I've got to do is bomb one and take them all down. But oh, look, the game starts bugging out, and moments later after that, <coughs> I died. <laughs> Cheers, game. Uh, but that is a very common occurrence, uh, and I would like to say I have really good internet, so it's not that. So here we have another issue. See if you can spot it, I'll give it a minute. See if you can spot it. I'll tell you at the end. And remember, ladies and gentlemen, this is the most powerful console in the world. Yes, yeah, so one of the most brilliant games ever created. Beautiful finesse, apparently. Can did you spot it? Did you spot the issue? <laughs> okay, this next video is um, for PvP. I'm actually Battlegrounds. Now, I'm like, I'm not one for really bigging myself up. I do okay damage. I'm a decent player. Um, I'm not the best. I'm not the worst. But I do quite well for myself. Uh, I'm like a middle grounds player, if you will. Uh, but... I would say, say when I do certain things to a person, I may not kill them, but I'm definitely gonna take your health down. I don't care who you are, even if you're like a proper tanky tank, I will take your health down, and I will maybe even halfway, and it kind of takes a bit to kill me as well. Now watch what happens in this video. Not in this first fight. Watch on the second fight. Look, this guy's just blocking. Fair enough, if he wants to just do that, whatever. But he's healing as well, and I just took his health down and destroyed him. I didn't get the kill for it, because I think someone else was helping me. But this guy here. He's all, more damage I was doing to him, his health was just going up. Now this happened all the time in this particular match. He hit me like three times, and he killed me. But I'd, I would do maybe... 15 attacks to him um, and there was another guy fighting him as well but it, this happens all the time with Dragonites and Wardens they are so overpowered and need major debuffing in Battlegrounds and in PvP in general if you have a meta Dragonite or Warden they're pretty much unkillable and it is getting to the point where it's absolutely ridiculous nothing can compare to them so all you end up doing in PvP is just having these builds that don't really do anything. They'll just stand there, look at you, then next minute you're dead. And I don't get it. I've asked the best players I know in PvP how these do guys do it. And apart from cheating being an answer, no one can give me an explanation how they do it. Because it barely hit me. I actually did look at the stats after this and it just says Flames of Oblivion and Lava Whip. And it didn't even add up to my sum total of my health. So I know for a fact there's cheaters on here. I've reported them before and I've submitted proof. Maybe this Grimshot guy is a cheat. I don't know. 
but it's a bit suspicious by it. I was just smashing him in his health for going up. And with any other player, that would have wrecked him, especially using the Jesus beam. Uh, but I don't know, something suspicious about that, and it happens all the time. Right, so we're going to come across another issue now that happens in Battlegrounds and PvP, like Cyrodiil, and that is players who come across one another, who know each other, refuse to fight, so they actually team up. Now, it's not these individuals here, but watch this. Look in the distance. Different teams, do not fire. It's ridiculous. Now you can see he pulled out a ball there, but he weren't really doing all that damage. I wish I recorded further on. They just started running around together afterwards. Now this happens in PvP all the time. The yellows and the blues team up pretty much constantly, unless they're just pushing their own keeps back. They don't really attack one another, but they always attack the Reds. And on top of that, they still lose because the Reds just destroy them because we're better players. Um, and you will get some nice messages from the Blues and Yellows calling you every name under the sun, racial or homophobic slurs, even um, bringing like children into it. And you can report these and Microsoft and... Uh, Zenimax or whatever the freaking hell Bethesda, they don't do anything about it. I've reported them, I've submitted over a hundred pictures and videos of getting hate mail being called the worst slurs imaginable because I just killed a guy in a PvP zone, heaven forbid. Uh, I even put videos on YouTube but they got took off because they were like hate speech or some crap. I was just exposing the hatred on these games and they get took off. Uh, I would also like to say as well, something needs to happen when it comes to the cinematic view of PV, well, this game in general. So if you're running dungeons or you're running battlegrounds, 99% of the time your camera is going to be in a freaking tree or a wall and it is so annoying. Right, so this video here is a perfect example of why you can't really get anything done on ESO. So if you're a new player or a returning player, you might want to get some of the dungeons done, get some of the better gear or loot, um, maybe even just get some achievements and fill up your sticker book. But a thing happens in Elder Scrolls, like people tend to band together, so you have people who band together teams of four, so you have a, uh, more often than not a, a healer, a tank and two DDs who do everything together. and. This is becoming more and more common, so it's harder to find people who will actually do dungeons. They have people doing who's a damaged queue as a tank, or people as a he damaged queue as a healer. So you could end up in a dungeon with just four damaged dealers. It's not always a bad thing, but when you're on newer content and nobody's communicating, you're not really going to get things done because the mechanics need to be explained sometimes. Um, but, more than likely, when one of them die, they're going to quit the game. Now, like I said, I don't mind that in normal because you can do normal. You don't need a healer or a tank on normal for any content, DLC or otherwise. But in veteran, you need to be a tank, you need to be a healer, you need two D DDs. And... This is a perfect example because my group has just abandoned me. I was taking on the ads and they've just left. They weren't even trying, they weren't fighting, they weren't healing me, they weren't doing anything. They've just left. Now this happened to be the last dungeon I needed a achievement on. So I really wanted to get it done. But the, the guy just stood over there and did nothing, just left. And this happens all the time now the chances of you actually getting dlc dungeons done is probably when they are in the undaunted um daily undaunted that's the highest chance you're going to get them done 
other than, other than that, you're just going to end up with this crap where people constantly leaving. And it is actually ridiculous. I think there should be a penalty, so like if you quit out the game, there's a 10-minute penalty, penalty, of course, but there should be, like, if you do it three times, you can't queue for a dungeon for a week or something because it's so annoying. Uh, on the other hand, there's people who just, you can get to, like... You can have two DDs, a healer and a tank, and you could run the group to the end boss, and then they vote to kick you so they can get their friend in, so you can get a monster helmet in. I don't think past a certain point in a dungeon you should be able to kick a person. They can leave, like, if they know they're not doing very good and they're not going to do it. But you shouldn't be able to kick people past a certain point. This has happened to me at least a hundred times in the past year alone. I I actually try and not do dungeons anymore because they are, it's got to a point where getting kicked from a dungeon makes you not even want to play the game. Right, so this video here is a perfect example of why Dragonites and Wardens need to be debuffed and there needs to be a 10 to 15 second cooldown on stuns grabs or where you get like frozen in place stuff like that because it is i'm i'm not even kidding i get so annoyed at this it is unreal every three seconds i'm getting grabbed or frozen or pinned or some other crap it makes the game nigh on unplayable so let's count them out that one that missed me two Free. Then I'm stuck in that sticky helmet stuff. I'm not entirely sure what it is. Four. It's just constant. Uh, that's not even like a bad video for it. it. But it can be like every other second. And you, all you're doing is wasting your stamina. Just breaking free of this utter crap. And seriously, something needs to be done about that alone because I I know at least 10 friends who have stopped playing the game because they are sick to death of just being stunned and grabbed or pinned every other second. So here is another example of PvP working at its full capacitor. It'll happen near the end of the video. I'm just telling someone to kill a Nightblade who's in Arius. Do 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 do. Off to work I go. Everything going fine. And three, two, one. Back where I started. Now this is not like a rare thing, this happens all the time and more often than not if you're not on like the most update console when you spawn back you are dead and even if you are on the most update console like that you're going to be in with a group of people. Luckily enough I wasn't then but it's happened to me several dozen times before especially when you go up north around Dragonclaw it the snowy bit of Cyrodiil is laggy as hell and I'm at BRK at the moment which is pretty laggy at the best of times especially when you're on the right hand side of it like you come out of the front door and you go to the right hand side that area around there between the front door and the farm it's like glitch city and it, you, there's not really you can do about it and it's been like that since day one Right, so I'm just going to play this video, see if you can spot the issue. Apart from my sustain being a bit cack, so what heavy attacks are for? Like I said, I have very, like, I don't have like the best internet, but I have pretty good internet. I don't lag on any other game apart from this. And people have said the exact same thing as well. 
this game seems like it's more out to make money than it is quality. So I definitely think something needs to change there. And hopefully with the new mega servers uh, coming out, it will fix all these problems. And they should definitely give some free content while the mega servers are coming out because there's no way it's going to be a clean transition. It's going to be buggy as hell. Right. So you saw earlier an issue I was talking about. I talked about many, but this is a repeated issue. So let's see. Just queuing to do my dungeon. Just trying to get it done. Oh, look. Either they disbanded or I got kicked instantly. Why? Don't know. But this stuff is why people are demoralised about the game. Not just one thing, it's all the things total. And there's more to come. Right, so this video is about a combat issue that has never been solved. Um, it's on the last guy that I fight, so you'll probably spot it. Now, in this particular match, I was actually quite happy. I ended up with like 30 plus kills, and I'm not even level 50 on this character. No, just that javelin. That can screw you over more often than not. I never see anyone else have this issue. It's not an internet issue, by the way. I have very good internet. But that happens all the time. If you can't get a simple fighting ability like that right, take the skill out of the game. Put something else there. It's ridiculous. It needs fix. So now we have another issue. One that you've seen before and see if you can spot it. Apart from me spending 99% of my time in the air or on my back because of the stuns or whatever. Just stuff like that can make or break a fight in PvP. Now, if you're a blue or a yellow, you're going to go, oh, the dirty little zerglings, and you'll probably send us a message because you're just that sad. I've had thousands of messages in the last two months, probably, whinging about zerglings or ganking or... I don't know, some other crap killing me while I'm in my menu like I'm meant to know that you're in your menu or like you've crashed I don't know and I don't care if you've killed me while I'm in any of them things I don't care, I'm not going to message you but stuff like this happens all the freaking time and this game needs seriously fixing they are more interested in taking you for every penny you've got by releasing stupid little costumes or a new pet or a new colour or something than actually fixing the game. Oh, so um, this video is kind of a weird little clip. I just, I just took a quick snap video of um, blues and yellows not engaging in combat like they hardly ever do and like I said unless there's a resource like one like a resource on their side they need like a home keep or whatever they stood there beauty in a beard and whoever that guy is they never fight now there's a red they're going for a, a yellow and there's a red attacking the blue but yellows and blues hardly ever fight their mutual interest is fighting the reds. And, you know, some of it is getting tiresome, this. Because you see it all the time. One alliance, the red is the best, yeah. We have the numbers, we have pretty good players. We have people who do nightcaps for the extra alliance points, like, so they, we can win at the campaign. Um, 
but yellows and blues, something needs to be done to make sure that they're fighting when they're near each other. I recorded one earlier in the battleground where they're standing around not fighting, and you see it again here. And yeah. there needs to be some sort of, I don't know, uh, like if you're near a play, you've got to engage them in combat like in 30 seconds or you both die or something because it, it's just ridiculous. They'll stand together outside probably Ash at some point, just massive armies of them standing together waiting for the Reds to show up. And it's re it's a real disadvantage for the Reds, even though we do win nine times out of ten. It's just so demoralising. And the yellows and blues are the most toxic people on this game. Even if you don't fight them in PvP, you just come across them in PvE, like you're running a trial or whatever, they'll just, they're the first ones to call you every name under the sun. It's like if you're not doing well, um, or you forget to taunt a boss, or forget to get a buff or a debuff or whatever they'll just instantly cut to insults probably disband group if they're leader or try and kick you anyway right so this is just uh, me and a bunch of my friends doing a dungeon uh, as you can see the healer's dead and we're just waiting for him to get his lazy butt up So watch this. So we're all just waiting on him, thinking, oh, he's dead, he must be in a toilet or he's out making a coffee or whatever. Like I said, we're all friends, we're just having a laugh here. It's nothing toxic. Then there's movement. He's not actually dead. And we were talking to each other in headset as well. Look at, look at that, though. If you can't fix that, what's the point in your game? I've seen this in PvP as well, people running around dead. And you can't kill them because they're already classed as dead. Same with Battlegrounds as well, not just Cyrodiil. But I, this, this video is to show like all the bugs that I can find and issues. Uh, there is more, but my recording capability is currently full. So... Right, see if you can spot this bug here. And this, there will, this is a part of a two-parter because I had to do this dungeon a couple times. Because later on in the dungeon, when you get to the shulks and the troll, the woman would not do her duty by going to the gates and releasing them, so they would not come out. So we could not do the dungeon. Um, so we had to do it over and over and over again. But can you see the issue there? Floating NPCs. It's ridiculous. Just fix the game, guys. Right, so this is another try of the same level, different group. As you can see, oh, look who's up there. No, it can't be that hard to fix something as simple as gravity on a game. Can it? Come on, man. Fix it. Come on, man. Right. This one is a little different. I don't know if this is a bug in the game or someone actually cheating. But watch, and I'll explain at the end. Or right, I'll explain when it starts popping up so you can see it properly. It's not this guy, although he should have died. From this moment, watch this wall to my right hand side. Arrows will start coming through that wall because a guy is sniping me. But just watch the wall. It's very hard to miss. You see him there shooting to the right hand side, but now he's shooting at me through the wall. How he does that, I don't know. Because you see the arrow line there. He's firing straight at me through a wall. 
I don't know if it's some kind of aim bot or cheating hack, something like that. But that's definitely suspicious. Right, so here is another brilliant feat of ESO engineering. It's not the combat this time. Just round them all up, round them all up. Everybody gets some plague. Boom. Right. Set it on fire, as you do. Oh, it's out. Did somebody put it out? No, no. I don't know. I know it. It's still on fire. It's just the graphics. What a piece of crap game. Right, we do have like a bug at, on this at the moment that which I'm going to show you. But I just wanted to mention while this video is running, this little wall I'm about to jump off. It's not a very high wall. Lose a little bit of health. It's not very high. I th did that other day on my tank. I was at 55k health, I believe. Killed me instantly. And he just said fall damage, 8k. But it took 55k off. I tried to record it, but my um, record box was full. Which I need to clear all these out. Now I'm actually putting them into a compilation video. But that was the bug then, if you saw it. Um... Like I said, this is BRK, right hand side, which you're probably going to say, why don't you just avoid that area? And you can't always avoid the area. You need to go to the farm, which I'm trying to do to recapture it. And it just bugs out yet again because they can't get simple coding right for the game. Jesus. Right, I would like to know how this guy does this. Uh, I don't know if it's a cheat. He's a very toxic player. Because he messages me, um, but I would love to know how he does it. I know there's certain skills that can make you like um, go around corners, but I don't think he used that time ultimate on this one. So the guy is uh, Yo C F T P for the pack, because that's what Red said. Um, let's play it, and you can see. You see him there to the left, and suddenly he's round the corner. Now, I don't know any ability that can do that, because he literally just blinked round the corner. He w if he'd have done the time thing, there'd been like a, um, a bit of energy left behind where you could see that he's used it, but he's just round the corner. Now, m maybe he got a bit of lag, like I've been showing you in my game, where I, I kind of bug out. Uh, but I don't believe that to be the case because the last couple of weeks I've been seeing this guy it's happened more than once and I just don't get how he's doing it maybe one of you guys can explain I don't know right so this video here I get engaged in combat and I die fair enough whatever who cares everyone dies in PvP at some point but this happens repeatedly to me and I don't know why not that But watch my health and stamp. They've just been drained instantly in a second. Now I know like there's draining pots which will do it gradually. But that were instant. And it happens all the goddamn time on all my characters. And I've messaged Bethesda. I've, mess I've asked players. Bethesda comes out with the same old crap they always come out with. Oh, it's your internet connection. It's not my bleeding internet connection. I have a very good internet connection as it happens. And people have had the same issue. No one can give me an explanation for why they're doing this. Apart from the guy's probably cheating. He's probably got some kind of draining cheat on. It sounds stupid, but if, if that can happen, then it explains everything. Because it happens all the time. Hell, uh, stamina mag's gone, then I just drop dead about a second later. It is absolutely ridiculous. And it happens in PvP and Battlegrounds all the time. Let me know if you guys have had the same issue. Now, of course, I don't care that I died. It's just that my stamp and magic are gone. I want to know why it's happening. The game does not explain anything to you. And it is super annoying. Now, when you die and it happens, why don't you come up with, oh, there's a tip for 
this is why your health and stamina just disappear so you can't heal yourself and keep yourself alive. Right, so this video is another perfect example of why um, there needs to be a delay on stuns and immobilizations. I just got immobilized there, get dragon leaped, stunned, off balance, uh, might just held in place again. Then wait for it, immobilized. Then frozen, immobilized again. It is non-stop and I, it's ridiculous. You can't bleed him move. I know for a fact at least two people in that group cheat, but the game doesn't do anything about them. For instance, I rep recorded one of them doing uh, biting jabs and hitting me with crystal fragments, sent it off to uh, the help place. They did nothing. But there definitely needs to be a delay on these immobilization stuns and whatever else to that hold you in place. It is ridiculous because you're wasting half your stamina just breaking free or rolling out of way. Fix the goddamn game that people are paying for. Right, so here's another video following up on the previous one with the stuns and mobilizations. I got stunned just at the beginning of the video. And again. Isis broke off. And 3 to 1 held in place again. Can't move. And I'm stuck on the spot for whatever reason. Can't, couldn't move then. Come on, man. This is not a hard thing to do for gaming. The game's been out nearly 10 years. Fix the goddamn thing. Stop bringing out content, scrounging every little penny out of people. Fix the game that people are paying for. Jesus. Right. So this is another PvE thing, in with two friends and a rando, the rando is dead, waiting for him to respawn so he can start, even go try resin him. And look at that. The thing is about this, if he does die, we don't know, and we can't res him if he does die. So what are we meant to do about that? Do you notice a whole non-death run stuff people do in dungeons? Yeah, you can't do that when the game is broke. Fix it, god damn it, man. Right, so here's a video for, I guess, meant to be the hardest content in the game. And I really struggled, struggled for a while until the old console ring came out, which is a sad statement in itself. Yes, I know. Um... But I did struggle with it, and it's not because the game is particularly hard, it's because the, the game is 100% a laggy piece of crap. And if you haven't caught onto that yet through the numerous, numerous videos I've just shown, and the videos that I've shown previously, here's more proof. This is probably the, in my opinion, the hardest level in Veteran Maelstrom Arena. Not because the, the boss is hard, but because they don't freaking work. Same with the poison level, where then people pop out and start doing a summoning thing and it poisons you. That bugs out for me all the time and I die instantly sometimes. Sorry, I wonder what the hell that word is on phone. Anyway, this is why it bugs out. This happens to me over and over again in PvP. It, not in PvP, in Martian Marina. I'm actually doing quite well. Things are dying pretty easy. Jump up. And I die instantly. Wow! That's amazing. Do you know what? It's meant to kill you like that. Being in the bleeding water. So, for some reason, the game registered that I'm in the water, but when I'm clearly not. It's a good thing they took out that no death run achievement because I don't think I'm getting that anytime soon. 
Jesus Christ, I'm pretty sure Bing's in love with me because they never stopped me messaging me. But stuff like this, all in it together. If you're a new player, why would you want to play the game if this is what you're coming across? You're paying for content. As soon as the content's been out a week or two, it gets debuffed, so whatever you paid for is now out of date. New content's on the way. So you pay to win, then they change it. But even I still pay to win because if you bought the um, High Isle DLC, you get the old console ring, you come across somebody who's not got that, nine times out of ten you're going to win if you know how the game works proper. The game is paid to win. They are, this game is designed also just to drain your bank account. There is no reason that the craft bag should not be free. We don't need an ESO Plus. Either. It's just not a necessary thing. And if you think about it, you're paying, well, I think it's like £8, £9 a month. Just so you can carry the in-game features that you need to play the bleeding game. It's ridiculous. This video is not going to go on for much longer, even though I, even though I have days of, probably of footage showing that this game does not work correctly. Right, so we're in the dungeon. Um, and we're back to via boss. Now, it's, I believe this is fine the layer. It's not a particularly a new dungeon. So it should all the bugs should be fixed. It's been out quite a while. And since they've learned Chlorian's legacy from here, it's kind of a pointless dungeon, but I believe it were a pledge. Oh, look. The boss keeps despawning. Now, it doesn't happen in this video, but it has happened quite a few times in the past where the boss has just spawned and one shot somebody and kill them instantly. Uh, if, if you're used to playing the dungeon, it's probably happened to you as well at some point. Because the game's a load of crap. Anyway, that's the video. I have hours upon hours of more footage proving that the game does not work. But I'm not going to show it because the video is long enough and I'm pretty sure you get the idea now. The game is just broke. It, it, so I'm just going to leave it there. Um, if you've had any of these same issues, comment what your issue is in the comment section below. Like and share if you care to. If not, do one. Don't like you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm only kidding. Love you all. Anyway, catch you next time.